Good morning, everybody. My name is Osa. It is Thursday, 24th of November in the USA. It is Thanksgiving Day, so happy Thanksgiving to everybody who celebrates such things. To everybody else, enjoy your day at work. <coughs> and you'll probably have to catch up on YouTube. Okay, tea is good and hot. Um, we are back out in our little... Um, I'm not going to call it a forest. It's a small flock of trees, whatever. And uh, we're going to be clearing more of these out today. Um, it is game day, second day of January, so middle of January. Um, I'll probably do another three trailer loads of wood today. And... Uh, It's not worked. Need to roll it back, then close the jaw. That's the way to do it. Okay, so yeah, we'll clear off probably three loads of wood today, and then in all likelihood, I'm going to jump us over to February. Hmm. Should I have gone for longer than six? Maybe. That's good enough. So, yes, unfortunately, Mrs. Osa has been sick for most of this week. On the upside, we do have notification that her surgery has now been approved and scheduled so there's going to be um, a fair amount of uh, interruptions today because she's sick um, so when she wakes up I'll probably need to take care of her for a few minutes Uh, then 5th of December is the date of her surgery so who knows what's happening around that time and while she's in the hospital so we'll see how things go for that The current plan is we are going to be uh, streaming today, tomorrow and Saturday. Uh, today and tomorrow may be shorter than normal streams. Saturday I would like to try and get a normal length stream. And then... Uh, I could cut 8 meter logs on this, just as a thought, and I should uh, probably not do that. So yeah, stuff I've done this week. Um, last episode of Andor dropped yesterday. Very fine series. Um, not what I was expecting. And uh, I mean, kind of finished as expected. I mean, the problem with a series like that is it's a prelude to Rogue One movie. So we all know who's going to be alive, who's going to be dead. Yo, know, so. Obviously, Cassian Andor gets killed in Rogue One. Sorry, spoilers. Um, so, he's not going to die in the TV show, for obvious reasons. Uh, let's back that off a little. Yeah, there we go. And... Fall out. Yeah. Yeah. 
but definitely worth a watch. And for those of you who watched it and didn't watch the end credits, go back and watch the end credits because there is a cutscene. Which will explain some stuff. Messing this up. There we go. Gotcha. As I said, I don't know how much of this physics improvement is down to the Platinum DLC, which obviously is strongly biased towards logging, and how much of how much of this is just um, uh, Farming Simulator 22's improvement in physics over 19? But logging isn't nearly as difficult as it used to be. I didn't have that lifted all the way, that was the problem. Now there was two patches to Maze Plus this week. The one today, which um, dropped kind of early. Normally I expect uh, pat or mods to drop around um, 11 o'clock Eastern Time. So it's not even 9 o'clock now. But that was listed as a hot patch because something got messed up. Um, yesterday's patch or update um, did supposedly provide us with some weight to the um, consumables. So, for example, the other week we loaded on that Is it pallets I believe oh big bags wasn't it um, yeah I believe I bought big bags of mineral feed this is not base game mineral feed this is normal mineral feed so this mineral feed goes in our cow barn the doika mineral feed sorry again back to the big bags this stuff although it says mineral feed different icon so um, it doesn't go into our cow barn but I bought some because it's easier to buy eight of these than it is to buy eight of these because I have to cycle through the purchase every time. But we loaded a significant amount of uh, mineral feed into our car and into our um, yeah into our cart. Um, and carried it loose back to the farm and when I realized it wasn't going to work um, I tried to adjust it to um, the in-game mineral feed and the in-game mineral feed we lost a fair amount because the doika mineral feed didn't have any weight associated with it so you can put 20,000 liters in a 20,000 liter cart and it doesn't care um, we are playing with, um, what's it called, uh, I think it's there, no, it's on that one, vehicle, 
trailer fill limit. And turning this on means that weight is involved in what you're shipping. Um, but it only works if the trailer is set up to include weight. So, for example, if we go to the store and look at trailers, these trailers, this one here has a one and a half ton limit. This has a 5.6 ton limit. 2.4 tons is the weight of the physical trailer. This one has a 16 ton limit, six ton. So you can carry 10 tons of product in this trailer, but only 12,000 um, liters. Whereas this one will carry 22,000 liters maximum, but only has a nine ton limit or eight ton limit. So you can't carry as much heavy stuff in it. For example, wheat is heavier than barley, is heavier than canola and rocks and stuff like that. So mineral feed has a limit. We have, I didn't finish my uh, commentary there. Um, we are using this trailer which has weight um, however we go to this one there is no weight maximum weight defined for this trailer so having fill limit turned on has no effect this trailer will always carry 15,000 liters 17,000 liters regardless of how, how heavy the product you put in it so we're using this limited eight tons approximately and so when i loaded it with twenty thousand liters of mineral feed it worked when i converted it to doika mineral feed it dropped to fourteen thousand liters no when i dropped it to turned it to in-game mineral feed it dropped down to fourteen thousand liters because in-game mineral feed has a weight associated with it whereas the doika didn't so the patch this week on maze plus says it has addressed um, the weight issues on um, on the consumables so i haven't had a chance to try that But that might be a thing that we do today because we are going to need, we, we're always going to need some more mineral feed um, while we're going through the, uh, the cow mixtures. And the robot will use up 100% of the mineral feed we provide it with. So since the Doika mineral feed and the in-game mineral feed costs the same amount, um, what I can do is um, buy some big bags of doika, see how much we can fit in the trailer. We'll then delete it and re-add um, as general mineral feed and transport it to the yard and empty it into the cow feeder. But we'll look forward to that later in this stream. Okay, that was three trees. three more trees so we cut the three trees in that direction because um, we now have a clear patch of ground here and I will cut these so that they fall that way 
again because we now have clearance in this area to uh, get at them. One. And two. Now that's going to be a little bit awkward. Let's go get this one. And at this point, still undecided whether we're going to uh, look ahead to buying the, the uh, arable field over there and then expanding it into this area, or whether I'm going to replant these trees. Part of the problem is that um, there isn't a decent entrance into this field to get to the trees. So what we're really looking at is driving on the crop to get up here and don't really like that as a plan. And for some reason that's not chopping, so... health and safety thinks about walking on um, tree trunks in order to uh, clear off the debris. Okay, we are at, oh, this is the other one, two, four, four, five. Cutting them at six, so 451. Concentrating here while we cut this 455, 461. Pickup was actually without super strength. We can generally pick up the bits at the end. What we can't do is uh, pick up the long six meter lengths. And somewhere around here, the hand will appear. Spike that looks like the short spike. So we'll push that one on a little bit further 
Okay, let's go grab the rest with the tractor. probably should consider doing is loading these from the field side maybe we'll just turn the JCB other uh, not the JCB John Deere around because as I said last time the problem is is you can't drop logs against the arms closest to you so I can't drop the logs on this side of the car from that side they're going to drop over here as I tip the forks and uh, what we're really looking at here is uh, trying not to unbalance the, uh, the trailer like we have the last few times where all the logs fell closest to us Oops try not to roll down the hill while we're doing it so now these logs should load to the right side of the trailer predominantly balancing out what we've already put on it as we established last week tip the f oh Helps if we put the forks on the ground, obviously. Put the forks on the ground and tip them slightly away from you. This is not going to work out too well, I think. So as soon as the, f the lower forks are under the trunk, tip it back and that will roll down, hopefully, and if not, the grabs will help. Okay, that's tipped as far back as it'll go. The grab is as good as it's going to get. So the only worry with uh, going up to, say, 8 metre logs is uh might overload the tractor's abilities so what i might do is for the second load we will run with a um we'll load the tr the first tree will cut to eight meters we'll see how the tractor copes and then figure out a plan from there. Because you don't really want to load 8 metre logs on top of 6 metre logs. That's probably going to cause you a problem. Also not sure if containers work at a regular sawmill. I think I voiced that concern last week because obviously containers are a great way to make a lot of money from wood. Maybe what I should do oops, is during some off time when I'm not streaming, that is... Maybe load up Maypole Farm, buy some logging equipment, and buy a container, and see if I can sell it at the sawmill. If I can sell it at the sawmill, actually, that's an interesting thought. Um, 
Wood is now listed as a, a thing. We can sell wood at the biomass heating plant, at the carpentry and at the sawmill. Sawmill is currently the best price. Does that mean I can sell? Um, I'm guessing you can't sell uh, containers of wood at um, the furniture factory because obviously um, they want wood not containers but potentially the sawmill is a place you could take wood and, and make money from it um, I think the thing with the Silver Run forest sawmill is it you know you float the wood off the back of the truck so I'm guessing that's why it might not work so well on that count okay now can I get two um, hmm. Well, one's stuck in the forks. I don't know if the uh, the larger of the two is going to stay there. So I need to maneuver around these stumps a little bit carefully, I think. Yeah. Um, try and grab it anyway. Two. Okay, how's that look? That looks like a mess. Ideally, you do not want the uh, trunks crossed. Makes it harder to uh, get a full trailer. Thing, all the wheels on the ground at least. As I said, not sure I'm going to get both of these on again. No. Let's just go with one at a time then. When it doesn't really take long to uh, get this trailer loaded. I'm not too fussed about uh, only doing one at a time. Uh, still turning the uh, joystick the wrong way to unload the forks or to ungrab. But still. We'll run to the store with this load and then uh, start work on the